Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to study about information theory. So what do you understand by information theory? Information theory is a mathematical representation of the parameters that impacts the processing as well as the transmission of information. So, information theory basically refers that how the information is being transmitted by the help of a channel from the source towards the destination. So, before talking about the information theory in more depth, let us have a look at this block diagram representation of the transmission of information. So, in this scenario, first of all, the information is being generated by the help of information source. Then, after the generation of information, it will be transferred to the transmitter part. The transmitter then processes that information and then it will transfer that information towards the channel. A channel here acts as a communication medium between the transmitter as well as receiver. After that, the channel will transmit the information to the receiver. The receiver receives that information and then transmit it towards the destination part. But here is one twist that is some part of the information that is present at this destination goes again to the information source in the form of feedback. That's why it is known as response of feedback. And this is the whole block diagram that shows that how the information is being transmitted from the source to the destination by the help of feedback system. So this is all about the second point that is the information theory examines the processing, transmission as well as the extraction of information. Why here is the processing? Because the transmitter and receiver processes the information before transmitting and receiving the information through the channel. Transmission refers to the transmission of information by the help of transmitter towards the channel and extraction refers to the destination which extracts the information whatever it receives from the receiver. So this is all about the basic introduction about information theory. Now let us have a look at the information. Information is an organized data which gives some meaningful knowledge to the receiver. Now let's understand the concept of information by the help of example of a newspaper. So here is a reader which reads the newspaper to gather some amount of news by the help of this newspaper in every morning. So here are the two cases. According to the case number one, if the news that is read by this reader is already known by that reader, then in that scenario, that data or the news will not act as a part of information to the receiver. But according to the case number second, if we can say that that news is not known by this reader, that is the news is completely new to this reader, then in that case, we can say that that news will act as a part of information to that reader. So this is the basic difference between the data and the information. If it is already known by the receiver, then we can say that that data will not act as an information. But if that data is not known, then we can say that it will be a part of information. Now let's understand this information in more detail. So let X is a discrete memoryless source that generates the information or we can say that symbol. So it generates symbols and let these symbols will be x1, x2 till x of n and here is the discrete memoryless source. Now if we talk about the information content then the information content will be given as i of xi that is being equals to minus of log b p of xi or we can say that i of xi 
it will be also equals to log b in place of minus of p of xi we can say that 1 over p of xi this formula is exactly same as this formula we just use the concept of log here but for the calculation of the information content that is i of xi we need the value of this b so what will be the value of b so there will be three values of b onto which the information content can be calculated so these three values are if the value of b is equals to 2 then the unit of information it will be equals to bit only according to second case if the value of b is equals to 10 then in that case the unit of information will be that's it and third case is if the value of b is equals to exponential that is e then in that scenario the unit will be natural or we can say that nat generally we will use the unit of information content as a bit so we will use log 2 in place of log b here so this is the basic unit for the measurement of information content and this is all about the information theory and the information if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you and goodbye